What is up guys, it is AJ from MMA Experts and we are talking about the trilogy fight between Mauricio Shogun Hua and Antonio Rajirio Noguera. Um, it was a back and forth bout, it was very competitive, big punches landed by both guys. Shogun, he wins this fight, I believe it was a split decision, let me just check just to give you the accurate result. Yes, it was split, I knew it was split. Noguera looked good. For a guy that's 44, he looked really good. Shogun looked good too. Um, you know, he's beaten now Noguera three times in very close, razor thin decisions. I feel like this Noguera looked much better than he did in his last fight. He really shows up when it's Shogun Hua. And granted, he's lost to him three times. But honestly, those fights were very competitive, especially this one here. I mean, it was super close. Could have gone either way. Um, Shogun did land the takedown, which I believe did win him the fight. Now, for Shogun Hua, what is next? Does he want to retire? We know Noguera retired. So Noguera, he's done. Career over. Congratulations. Uh, Noguera will be remembered as a very good fighter and a legend of pride. And the UFC, I'm not going to say he had the greatest run of all time because he didn't. He was older when he came to the UFC. But a, a pride FC legend. And honestly, he had three great fights with Shogun. He fought some good fighters. I mean, he fought Rumble Johnson in the UFC, Ryan Bader twice. He's had fights in the UFC against top guys, beat Tito Ortiz, but he was never a title challenger in the UFC. Shogun, former world champion, where does he go from here? So I have two names. I'm going to say Paul Craig rematch. I definitely could see that happening, both coming off the win in the same card. I lean Paul Craig, though. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. After these performances, I lean Craig. If not, maybe Ryan Spann. Ryan Spann, Shogun Hua, that's an option. If not Ryan Spann, I'm going to give you a third option maybe, just maybe, Jimmy Crute. I feel like that could be the other option for him. Those three for Shogun Hua. Now, granted, he may want a different fight. He may get a different fight, and he may retire too. I, I think he could definitely retire, and I would not be disappointed in that. He's taken a lot of shots. He's been around forever. He's an aging legend, and honestly, how much farther does he want to push it? Granted, he's still collecting paychecks, so I kind of don't blame him. And he's not that old. I believe he's 37 or 38. He was a very young guy in the sport. Um, you know, at one point when he was a champion, he was young, and now he's older. He's still fighting. He's a journey. He's not a journey. I guess he is a journeyman now. I guess I'll call him a journeyman, but he's a former world champion. He's an aging fighter that's become a journeyman, and we will see what's next for him. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.